Hi ninjas, how are you guys doing? It's your girl or oh, I mean Bajolu AK means fear for call prime back for all entertainment. If the first time you name me the below welcome, please do make sure that I subscribe, never say hit the bell. I absolutely love you and do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly oh, I mean. Now my ninjas, oh my gosh. <laughs> I am back. I, I still cannot believe it. I honestly still cannot believe it. But I'm obviously going to just um, go ahead and tell you guys what was going on. Because you guys know I always update you whenever I feel like it's something that I feel like you guys need to know. I feel like this particular one I was not going to talk about. But there's a lot of stuff that I just feel like um, I want to just give you guys warning. You know, I, I want to give you guys some warnings. Um, and so, yeah, I have been in and out of hospital since Monday. Um, I did get admitted and I had to discharge myself and then I had to go back to the hospital. I was put on bed rest. It was really just a lot. So you guys will just have to watch the video um, to fully understand. Um, so basically guys, um, from I would say the pre like previous days, something weird was actually happening with me um not even days i would say like a month over a month like maybe december -ish from early january of this year um i would get very dizzy and I, I would get exhausted like i would move from resting state and skip tired to just exhausted um and the only thing that i really just wanted was to just constantly be in my bed you know now obviously being someone that struggles with mental health that's exactly where it went i was like oh crap we're going through another episode but it was just a fun guys that i was just not getting out of and i feel like the situation that was now happening was now starting to just depress me a little bit because i'm just like oh my god i really want to do these things but i can't like i just don't have the energy now for some of you guys that have been ninjas for long time you guys will remember that i had a treadmill when i was in free state i actually did move with my treadmill it's here it's by my balcony and so it has been folded up for a long time but this year i was like i want to start like just walking you know so i need to make sure that obviously i'm gonna clean it up and open it up and everything and so i did that and thank god that i was too lazy um, or too exhausted for me to even get on that treadmill because had i done that um yeah it would have been another story so the other thing again that was also happening with me guys was um I, I couldn't walk up the stairs without being exhausted um, or running out of breath. Now, mind you guys, I stay on the first floor. So first floor is not really like far. And this is like stairs that I used to just run up and not have a problem. And now I had gotten to a point where I would have to walk mid stairs. I would have to stop and then, you know, grab a breath. And then after that, obviously, you know, I come in the house and I'm going to be like really exhausted. My heart will be beating very fast and i will even be out of breath i remember there was another night that we were coming back from the club i was with jesus son who i just prefer to say js now and he was laughing at me he was like why are you so out of breath it was like you know and i was like i'm so unfit i really need to exercise and everything i was like yeah you really need to because it was like really bad you know like you could just see me like <sighs> Because I'm trying to get, like, I'm even using my mouth to breathe because somehow I just feel like my nose is not doing enough job. Now, I was also now starting to have a problem with my heart and I would just feel pain. Like, it would be like my heart is kind of like pulling and i'd be in a lot of pain like physical pain you know like someone beat you up and you feel pain that's the pain that i'd be feeling and it's my heart and i'm like i'm not understanding what is going on but monday guys it really honestly just got worse the other thing again was that if let's say maybe i was squatting or i was bending down to pick something when i stand up i would feel dizzy um and so i also remember i called one of my friends that is a doctor and i was just talking to her to say yo you know and she was like no drink more water you know this and this it try it healthier I'm like okay sharp you know okay fine word spoken but i could just feel it man you know when you can just feel it that something is not right but monday it really got worse around 
10 at night if i'm not mistaken i was like nope i'm definitely going to the hospital and so i did go to the hospital it's life hospital i'm not gonna say which one um and then after that you guys when i got there um i was basically like they put me on drips they did check me out everything like my sugar levels were fine um my heart they did an ecg like you know everything was fine my heart is beating fine even though i'm in pain i'm feeling pain um from my heart but my heart is fine they checked my bp my bp is fine so it was now just that thing of like it's really confusing because they can't see anything out of the norm and then they were like okay let's just draw blood and then let's go ahead and um you know take the blood to the lab so i was like okay fine now i am on or was on affinity health i'm canceling that nonsense guys affinity health insurance please if you are on affinity health insurance cancel it today if you really love your life if you love yourself you love your life cancel it today get a real medical aid affinity health insurance is an insurance as i'm saying it's not a medical aid and for me it is a useless insurance in my personal opinion you guys will get to know why i'm saying this so the first thing that caught me off guard mind you guys i took affinity health last year i think august if i'm not too mistaken so this was the first time that i had to use it in an emergency um setup you know so the first uh lab that came in to draw blood they were like oh you, um that lady had already strapped my hand you guys um to draw blood and then she was like um you're using affinity health like you know she just saw on the file and i was like yes and then she was like oh no we don't work with affinity health she unstrapped and she was like another lab is gonna come and um you know take your blood now i was just they surprised like mm hmm but i didn't ask much obviously um lancet came and then they are the ones that actually drew my blood sorry um and then after they drew my blood you guys they left now obviously it was weird right but now they told me that it was gonna take an hour for the blood um to actually come and at that time you guys like it was just absolutely crazy when i went to the hospital i obviously called jay i actually sent jay a message to be like yo i'm going to the hospital i'm really not feeling well and he was like i'm coming you know so he was there with me like all the way you know um and then the results come back and when the results come back the doctor is like i'm admitting you you know your bh um your hb is very low which means that my blood is low right so obviously um js leaves and i'm there and then uh, the doctor is explaining everything there the your 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 blood levels are supposed to be at a minimum of 11 if i'm not too mistaken and mine recorded a seven and so with a seven or below that's when they basically say they want to do a blood transfusion so i'm gonna be very open with you guys because i feel like this can literally save someone out there maybe that is having the same symptoms that i was having and not knowing it's something that i feel like is simple um but it can be very dangerous you understand so obviously now this is the first time ever that i'm being um diagnosed with anemia and i'm i'm just like really shocked at this point you guys like i'm really shocked um but i'm happy that at least there's something and mind you guys remember i used to be a nurse right and so i it, immediately they said oh you know your 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 hb is low i was like oh crap like everything just flashed back and i'm like why did i not think of this like why is it that this was not on my mind because i know all the symptoms yes now when the moment they said that i'm like oh it all makes sense um when your blood levels are low you guys like obviously you are gonna get dizzy most people faint if it goes too low you will faint um it, it can be very dangerous you know and so the other thing again the headaches that were just non-stop i was having a lot of headaches i just associated them with the stress of the salon and everything can they know you know it was because of literally my blood was low and so at this point i'm just like okay you know the doctor says that they are gonna have to admit me for three days um and i'm 
obviously worried about them like yo i can't work i'm here i don't have anything now i wasn't stressed because i knew that obviously i'm gonna just have to then get my sister to come in and pick what i need but i was really bombed you know because i didn't expect it but i was like okay i'm gonna make peace with it now the doctor comes back when the doctor comes back she's like no doctor wants to touch you because you're with affinity health i'm like what do you mean i'm not understanding obviously i need medical help um the, they can see you know i am dizzy as hell and everything and now i'm just like i'm not understanding like what am i supposed to do now you know um i asked and then she's like no i'm gonna refer you to a public hospital you know i'll write you a letter and i'm like guys i'm paying affinity health 1700 and let me just be a precise with this number right this useless useless insurance for me in my opinion is so useless 1728 rents that i'm paying affinity health every month so i'm like no ways i can't be paying affinity health and then now i have to go to a public hospital i'm paying affinity health to avoid going to a public hospital so what's going on so i call affinity health when i call them the lady that is over there on the phone she's like no the hospital did not call us for that um so what we actually need to do is that the hospital is gonna call us and then obviously we're gonna obviously pay i'm like of course you know i go to them the doctor that was there she was like girl we have been working here for a long time we know affinity health they are not gonna pay i'm like like guys honestly i was just I'm like, okay, what is the reason why doctors are not wanting to work with Affinity Health? They're like, no, Affinity Health is like, yeah, so good is uh, to pay the doctors. That's what they said there. And so I'm like, what? And then they're like, yeah. So the lady that was is working there by Affinity Health, she was like, okay, we can do an upfront payment, you know. So obviously, if they're gonna pay, then that is great. So they were like, can we please give the bill, you know, for the uh, for 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 the services that obviously she's going to need. So the doctor said, okay, I'm gonna admit her for three days. So they did the bill for all everything, and for three days, it came to fifty one thousand nine hundred and something. That's the amount. Um, and so obviously, the amount was sent to Affinity Health. Now that is for three days. Affinity Health then says that we can only pay 22,000 rands from that. I have to pay 29,000 rands from that. I'm like, wait a damn minute now. Wait a damn minute. How am I paying 29,000 rands when you guys, and they call that a shortfall. I'm supposed to pay. I'm like, who's paying a shortfall here? If I'm paying 29,000 rands and you guys are paying 22,000 rands, then that means you are literally paying the, <laughs> the shortfall and I'm paying the bill. This is actually carrot juice, not carrot juice, man, beetroot juice. Um, they said it's good for me, so I went and bought a bunch of them. And this is what like I'm literally chugging down because <laughs> I don't want to go back to the hospital. So obviously, you know, now that I'm still at the hospital, I'm like 29,000 rands that I'm supposed to pay. You guys are paying 22,000. I'm not understanding. So from what I understood, this is what they told me, right? As I was talking to different people. Affinity Health claims that they will pay up to 22,000 rands per night. I mean, per day for your hospital stay. So that is like, I think night and day, if I'm not mistaken, obviously one day, then the second day, then the third day, they pay up to 22,000 rand. So if let's say maybe I'm staying in the hospital for one day and it's 30,000, then it means Affinity Health is going to pay 22,000 rand. And then the other shortfall, I will have to be liable for that. I'm like, okay, I didn't even know this guys. I didn't know this, but okay, sharp. Anyway, it's not a problem. Now my bill is 51,900 um, divided by three. That comes to a total of about 17,000 per, per day. So there's no shortfall there. There's clearly no shortfall because the amount they're supposed to pay is 66,000 rands for three days. And my my uh, my um bill is 51,000 for three days. So I didn't see that there was going to be any problem. Now, obviously, at this point, the hospital is not assisting me. Um, they can't admit me without the payment being made. Um, and I can't just now be sitting there. So now it's around 4 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. Um, and so the doctor has already, you know, even written the letter to say, listen, it will be best you just go to a public hospital. I'm like oh at this point you guys i really still had hope um that i'm gonna like okay 
um you know something is gonna have to give so basically the, then now the following day which was tuesday right the, the 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 tuesday during the day when i woke up and i called them to find out what was going on they told me that they needed my medical history so that it will show that i have not had i was not anemic for the past 12 months so i'm like for the past 12 months before i took the plan so at this point you guys number one i'm pissed because why did you guys not tell me that you're gonna need this why didn't you tell me why are you now waiting for me to be sick and be at a point where i'm vulnerable for you guys to not want all this stuff and mind you guys i'm not a sickly person i honestly am not someone that gets sick like that um I, i'm not a sickly person so i've not been seeing doctors when i was here in 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 Haute. the last doctor that i saw was the you know the doctor that i was with in free state the one that misdiagnosed me and wanted to take my womb out like i've seen it all okay i've been through the most and then um i had to call their office and then they actually sent affinity health my medical history which shows clearly that i don't have any um, um anemic past or anything i've never been anemic you know obviously something is going on now for me to can be the uh, anemic to this level where my uh, blood dropped so much that i would even need a blood transfusion and so i was like okay at least now they got everything so it means that they can just go ahead and cover the fifty-one thousand rands bill because that is spread for three days guys that was tuesday wednesday actually tuesday when they they got the, the the results i called them and then they said no it takes 24 to 48 hours sharp wednesday i called them when i called them guys um the they didn't call me to say that oh you know this they claimed that somehow my medical history was was being checked or this and that and then basically wednesday things really took a turn for the worse um i was really just not okay uh -uh, that was not wednesday that was thursday was it i think it was thursday guys these days have just all been one smooshed thing yeah that was thursday when things took the turn for the worst i think that because of monday which was obviously tuesday morning i was on drips they were giving me medication it did make me feel better but remember i was not given any supplements or anything so that i think was on my system maybe it helped boost um my my maybe my blood levels uh tuesday and then wednesday but thursday guys i couldn't even stand up and go get a glass of water um you know and and come back to bed without being dizzy i don't know why i'm getting a bit emotional because it was really just uh, traumatic at this point i was like okay you know let me call them and find out like is affinity health going to pay obviously or have they reviewed my results because i know for a fact that my results i never had anemia i was not anemic before um so i i i obviously at this point when i was not feeling well whatsoever i decided that i'm gonna call them when i call them the lady that i was talking to said no just go to the hospital the bill um for three days is sixty six thousand that affinity health has to pay so if your bill is fifty one thousand, then affinity health is definitely going to cover up i was like okay fine you know finally someone that is talking sense um at this point you guys like i called jesus son because obviously he is that like guys i won't even lie js throughout this week has just been the biggest blessing for me um i you know because i've been with js for a while you guys like it's been a year now it's just um i i feel like this was the first time ever that i actually needed him like in a way that it was like in a physical way um if you guys know me i'm someone that i'm very self-sufficient you know but he, he like he does a lot for me i won't lie but this time i feel like he honestly s s was there for me in a way that i just appreciated even more than other ways because this time i couldn't do things for myself you know and again i was scared i did not want to call my baby sisters and tell them because i didn't want to stress them um the trauma that comes without having a mother and then not having a father even though your father is alive is a lot and so i i know that how much my sisters value me you know and i did not want to stress them so 
out of everyone nobody was here except for my man like literally him only <laughs> and so he's the one that was making sure that i eat like when i tell you guys like he would wake up and he was having a lot of emergencies at work because he's a businessman um you know he would literally like wake up in the morning get me food come here not even stand and like just you know hug me make sure that i'm okay and like have to leave he will make sure that he's taking care of me he'll make sure that he's here any chance that he gets um you know he was just making sure that he was checking up on me if he's, he's not like ordering food and getting food to me because he obviously didn't want me to stress too much like having to make food and stuff like he was sending me money like just to say order something on uber like when i tell you guys that my man literally showed up in this time that man honestly did and i i'm just so grateful because at this point i do see that at least i'm with someone that if ish was to hit the fan he would definitely um be there you know and so thursday honestly um when i called him and he came here like my heart was beating so fast and i was so scared like i literally just broke down like i was just crying you know and so obviously we went to the hospital when we got there um i'm like listen this is what they said they called the doctor again the doctor's like affinity health i'm not gonna touch unless if i um all the payment is made we went back and forth and guys mind you guys i'm in this position where i'm really not okay i had to think about do i want to pay thirty thousand rents for two days stay in the hospital because obviously the other day right affinity health is gonna cover do i want to spend thirty thousand rands for me to lay in, in a bed for for two days or do i want to just go to a public hospital i knew for a fact that had it been that i spent thirty thousand rands um in that hospital by the time i get out i was gonna regret it and i was gonna beat myself up so much blood is blood whether if it's in public or private obviously i would rather have it in the private um where it's comfortable more comfortable but I told myself that I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm going to just go ahead and go to a public hospital, you guys. And so after they refused, literally refused, and the, the, the Affinity Health, in my personal opinion, what they are doing should be illegal. And they literally should just be shut down. If you're with them, which I could the horror stories that those nurses in that hospital were telling me about Affinity Health, to a point where you guys, even because... <clears throat> I was like the way that they're treating me in that hospital it's so bad just because i'm uh, a member of i mean I'm, I'm, a, I'm a client of affinity health for the fact that for them to take me blood the first lab was like nope they left for the other lab to come which obviously they came later than that which means i would have gotten help sooner obviously i was scared this is my life i'm talking about you know like i was like okay let me rather try another hospital i tried life hospital the one in four ways the moment i said affinity health i could just hear the guy that i was talking to his voice literally drop like uh uh <laughs> is i'm gonna definitely get treated the same way he was even talking about how yeah the doctors here they they they, they are not like affinity health whatever and then he told me that even if you know i wanted to today we are he said a certain word that i think meant that they are full um and i was just like you were ready to help me before you had affinity health so i was like okay i'm gonna go back to the same um hospital obviously you know but obviously i couldn't get help and so i had to um now drive to edenville um because js had obviously left as i said he was having a lot of um emergencies at work so at this point you guys i go to edenville i feel like i'm gonna do a, a deeper dive i was just hit with reality that i've not seen in years as i said i'm not a sickly person um and i'm so blessed thank god that people around me are also not sickly so i have not been into a public hospital um for for me to like get help in over 10 years and i know that that might sound you know surprising i do remember that there was a time that i think i got burnt my hand um and i went to a pub uh, oh yeah i went to a public hospital i was in free state but because the place is so small when i got there it wasn't even full it's a very small hospital and most times you won't even find a doctor then it was nurses that actually helped me it has actually healed but 
for me personally like i have not gone to like a hospital for medical assistance in 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 in, in, in that way you understand and so in a very long time so when i got there yo i shame i was just we sat there for hours just to get the pp done and um you know just to get the vitals and everything and then obviously the hb still came back low at that point it just recorded about 7.2 if i'm not too mistaken which is still very low and they had to obviously blood transfuse and so now i was just thinking of guys like getting admitted thank goodness that the doctor that i actually got there thank goodness that the doctor that i actually got there um she is a ninja and she saw me and I, like at least i was able to just open up and she was like okay you know i i honestly told her i was like if there's a way that we can do it in a way that you know i wouldn't have to get um admitted please like anything you can tell me i will actually do it she really gave me the best service honestly and so um she gave me a drip and some medication and um after that you know i don't know what she gave me but we did another test and then um the test that we actually did now came back as um my blood was now at 8.4 which was a, a a rise and so you you require blood transfusion if you're seven and below and so now mine had gone up so which meant she was like okay now we can actually manage it um and um we obviously she obviously gave me supplements but they did take more blood to go and you know obviously take to the lab so that we can just find out what is the reason why um my 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 hp dropped um so low right so obviously this is something that had been happening i i know my body obviously and i could feel it i just was not taking it serious i think that sometimes when you're someone that is so busy right um it, it's a lot of things they come past and that is so bad because your health should be thing number one you understand i really honestly went through a horror movie and i feel like the horror that i went through i wouldn't have had to go through that had it been that i was not with affinity health i mean i of course called them and cancelled and when they asked me like the lady i was like because you're a scam and you 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 are useless that's literally what i said and um that's my opinion honestly i do feel like what they're doing it should be regarded as a scam because how are you gonna have me pay but you are not gonna be there when i need you at the time that i need you now obviously i've done my own research and i think with everything that i went through right now i'm gonna just go ahead and um become a client of discovery um that's also like a medical aid that the nurses actually advised me on the other thing again um is that um when i called discovery which is a medical aid and i did tell them that hey i'm with affinity health insurance they were like that for us means nothing like you are gonna have to start from scratch now they didn't say it like that but sorry but they did say that due to the fact that obviously affinity health is a medical insurance and it's not a medical aid i'm gonna have to start with all those weights you know the three months before i can get any assistance um and also the 12 months for any pre-existing conditions which means that the anemia i'm gonna have to manage it very very well because if anything is to happen and i go to the hospital it still won't be covered up for 12 months because it's a pre-existing condition that i'm having right now as i'm signing up with them which obviously is something that sucks guys affinity health insurance did me so dirty when i tell you guys that i will never i will never and i will never have anyone that is part of my family be with it now i know that for some of you you may think oh is it because you are just talking about this because you want to expose them honestly i don't even care about that yes maybe i would be like okay i want to expose them but it's not even about that i think that the thing that a lot of you guys should actually come to realize right now is that if it's a car insurance you know if anything happens to the car know it sucks you can still work hard and get another one if anything happens with any insurance you know it's fine you can still work 
but unfortunately when it comes to medical you sometimes you won't have a second chance so it means that had I, I arrived at the hospital with like maybe I was passed out which with anemia is something that is very common if your blood um, your HB drops too low um, you know you faint which is why like me not running on my treadmill saved my life because I would have run and literally pass out you know and so then what would have happened if they were to carry me to the hospital and I get there obviously whoever is close of kin they were gonna sign off you know to say that okay um, we have to pay imagine guys who's walking around with 30,000 rents so I would have woken up and 30,000 rents has been swiped from my account but I'm paying almost 2,000 rents to some useless insurance don't be scammed guys it's very dangerous i don't even want to lie it's very very dangerous um so if in venda they say they wake up. i honestly truly do believe in warning you guys if i find something i'm gonna warn you about it and i'm warning you guys about affinity health insurance actually just be careful with health insurances i don't know how others are but affinity healthy owner I know it's so bad that even doctors don't want anything to do with it. Even the lab for taking blood, they didn't want anything to do with them because apparently so good is when it comes to paying. And so unfortunately, doctors are not there to save your life. Doctors are there to make money. And I think that's one of those things that I actually realized this time that they are not there for your life. They are not there for you know making the world better the oath that life comes first no money comes first <laughs> they are there to make money and if you're with affinity health you are literally gonna be screwed especially if you were in a situation that i'm in and it's not a lot of um conditions that are gonna have you just go into the hospital and get out now imagine guys if they are failing to pay a 51,000 rands bill spread within three days what would have happened had it been that they were like oh you're gonna need surgery then what is the use of me paying 1700 and something when i can pay 2300 or 2400 for a medical aid that is going to cover everything it is useless it is not worth it for me if you are using them just don't negotiate cancel if you when you still have time move yourself and get a medical aid and then after that you know keep it moving because i understand that they are cheaper right because i took their combined plan which is i don't know what they call it but it's called the combined plan and then it has a lot of stuff there you know from what i thought i was like okay i'm safe because i'm paying more i mean that's 1700 and something when it's just me the it's only me you understand but what is the use of paying cheaper now when you have to go to the hospital you don't get help you don't get assistance i am telling you guys that the last lady that i spoke to when i was still in that hospital she told me you have got two options it's either you pay the thirty thousand or you go to a public hospital she literally told me that how are you gonna tell me to go to a public hospital when i'm paying you every month how i honestly just I, i'm still shocked i am still shocked at what happened within this week i was not okay whatsoever and the whole time i was in bed rest because walking was stress um it's only today that i actually have been feeling better because i've been on the medication that was given to me since um yesterday yeah since yesterday morning and obviously thursday going to friday because i came back from the hospital friday morning after i went in thursday because i came back in the early hours of the morning um I, I i have started to feel better today i was able to go for the small business runway event that's where i'm actually from and i literally got there late i was the late last speaker but i did inform her because i was like girl i'm supposed to be on bed rest i can't overdo it so i can't attend the whole function and i'm not gonna also like try and convenience other people to be like oh i i wanna be there before you know um and she was really honestly understanding i know i also did have to push myself but due to the fact that i had obviously committed i was like i'm actually going to do it you know but 
overall and above right now how am i feeling i feel a lot better I can feel my body um, that you know we're we're getting better. Um, when I walk up the stairs, I still do get the palpitations and you know, but they are now mild. They're not as bad. Um, and I think I've only gotten out of the house maybe two times or three times at most. I'm not sure, but yeah. So I've been on bed rest a lot, and I've been honestly just you know um, catching up on myself and doing better and i'm really happy when it comes to bed i was so proud of myself today the fact that you know i was out there and i was fine um but I, I obviously did go with my baby sister who knows exactly what's going on js also was like on standby in case anything happens he was like obviously we're gonna have to make sure that he's alerted so i would say that as much as i went through such a bad and horrible experience i think that on another hand it also just strengthened my relationship um and i'm really just happy you guys that i'm feeling better now that's how i'm feeling at this point and i'm just grateful for life um i do have my own suspicions on why my blood um might have dropped so much because sometimes whenever you're stressed um, you know stress honestly does affect a lot of stuff and so I'm not gonna lie to you guys and be like I was not stressed about the salon I was very stressed at the time where I was not getting people to work I was just constantly stressed and the renovations were so stressful and hard on my body I won't lie like it was just crazy for weeks after that i was waking up at 5 a.m by 5 a.m i was already up because i was waking up so early because i wanted to make sure that by the first you know everything was fine and so i think maybe if there's a lesson that i learned is that cancel affinity health insurance if you have it just they're useless for me like for your own safety trust and believe or if you don't believe me if you don't believe me just go to any private hospital that they deal with like life hospital and whatever go to any life hospital and be like hey um if i'm with affinity health can i be able to get help can you please explain they will tell you just go, like guys i was literally shocked i went to their facebook page as well and it was just filled with people saying this is a scam so they, 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 you, they are doing this to people um and the fact that like i've never heard of someone speak out i'm just like really honestly shocked that wow you know i am grateful that i had not paid them too much because i started paying them from october from august if i'm not too mistaken now imagine if i had been paying these people for like three years and this is the nonsense i was gonna be met with yo guys i would have fainted honestly and it is a lot of money over 10 grand that i've given these people for nothing so what i'm gonna actually just obviously do i have told them to cancel their nonsense um and i'm gonna just go for discovery health that's one that was recommended to me by a lot of people so I, that's where i'm gonna just go um i remember i did do a story on um instagram asking because yes it was the same there was a time i had to get my tooth fixed and there were so many authorizations there were authorizations that were needed and stuff and i was like no man i think i need to just get into a medical aid i feel like my soul literally just detected my vendor eye could definitely sense something even before this situation actually happened so yeah then um the other thing again that i have learned is that i need to take care of myself we need to take care of ourselves especially even if we're in business if you are a woman or a man you know i will talk for women because i'm a woman if you're a woman you guys that is um in business and your business is not do losing you know you don't get men that are out there sponsoring you with this and that and that you are a legitimate business woman like how i am it is very stressful you know it is very stressful like you can't be like i'll avoid stress it's impossible because you're gonna stress business is business and yeah business um, you know and so i was really stressed uh, um, i was blindsided by you know obviously a lot i had invested a lot of money and everything and so i as much as i stressed i was like 
I, I need to also just think of myself, you know. And so I did get fine. Before I even spoke to you guys, I was already okay. Um, but I'm just like now going forth. I'm not going to let things stress me. Like, especially when it comes to the business, I'm not going to let things stress me like that anymore. And I'm not going to you know like i think that i would just remind myself of this time to say go you don't um end up sick so yeah you know taking care of myself i think is one of those things that i really honestly just need to um focus on god is also really good um the fact that like it just went up from 7.2 i think to 8.4 i was like what she was like yeah okay we don't need to ad admit you but we can do this um i think yeah you know i'm just so thankful and grateful to god my sisters now know that's why i can be able to talk about it my baby sister is actually here because i obviously had to go with her but um i really honestly did miss you guys um i didn't tell you guys that i was sick or i was in and out of hospitals because my sisters didn't know and i didn't want them to know i wanted them to know once everything was just under control and i was at a much much better place um obviously as i said i don't want to stress them but right now i'm feeling so much better and i'm really just happy so i'm gonna be back obviously with entertainment videos my energy might not be as high um because i do get out of breath um if i talk too much that moment i talk for a living but we are gonna soldier on you guys we're definitely going to soldier on so yeah entertainment videos are gonna come back i think i'm also going to do the long video where i'm gonna wrap up what actually went down because i know you may have heard about them girls eh? but if not if it's not coming from miss fair have you really heard it of it i don't think so <laughs> but yeah anyway from me oh i mean i love you guys Humble your cancel a little affinity health yak. Hump by phone. You will suffer. Unless if you have because the other thing again that you should know, if the bill had come to one hundred thousand, they were gonna pay their twenty two thousand rents. That's what they told me. When I was asking Rahibu, even if it's spread within three days, you guys can't pay. But you know we can only pay twenty two thousand rents. So unless if when you're just telling yourself or you'll be walking around with a lot of money in your account for health and hospitals just get yourself a medical aid and be covered because obviously if you are unconscious someone is going to come and take your card however much is in there people are going to use that money to save your life but imagine waking up and realizing 30k is gone because of two days that I had to sleep, yo guys nga shine. No way. So guys, we work too hard for this money. But anyway, I feel like I'm just rambling now. Um, please do go. And if you've been, you know, facing similar symptoms, even if it's just on a mild um stage, go to the hospital, ask for them to check your blood levels, and then you can be able to just you know manage it or get on medication before it gets too bad. Um, and so that's what I'm obviously going to do. As I said, I still have blood results that are coming in Monday. Um, then we're gonna find out like what is the problem, what is the reason why my um HB dropped so low um and so yeah basically that is that but i am feeling a lot better so i can feel it that it's obviously going up and the fact that it went from 7.2 to like 8.4 just like that it was good news i don't know what she did i don't know what she gave me but thank you so much i love you um but basically yeah that's what's actually happening you guys um i love you guys stay blessed and stay away from affinity health insurance if we are tender <laughs> don't say i never want you anyway i love you guys stay blessed now see you guys my next episode bye ninjas